Okie dokie, what's going on, motherfuckers? Um, I am going to do a video here because I couldn't resist. It's been bugging me, so I want to do it. Uh, this video I'm going to be clearing the air on uh, three issues that have been bugging me a little bit here. Um, number one, there's apparently some weirdo going around on YouTube posing as me. <laughs> saying, saying shit at saying shit and trying to pass it off like, 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 like I'm him, you know? Like, you know what I mean. He's impersonating me. Uh, don't be stupid. Uh, I don't think everything sucks about PC gaming. <laughs> I would never say something that retarded. Um, my channel has over a thousand videos. I'm pretty sure you can't really clone that. So, if you're, if you think he's me, Click on the fucking channel, and then click on mine, and compare the two to tell the difference. Can't believe I have to point that out. That's obvious. But anyway, yeah. That's not me, everyone, okay? <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck that is. Some guy I pissed off, apparently. Um, and then secondly, uh, I got attacked again by some fact versus opinion trolls. Yeah, those guys are pissed off at, at me, because um, apparently I said, uh, you're a retard if you like Destiny, and that's a fact. That's what I said. And uh, all the all these uh, troll-type people came at me like, that's not a fact, that's an opinion, dumbass. Da, da, da. And come on, I know it's just an opinion. I just said it that way to piss people off. <laughs> you know, like, I, come on. Like... I know, I know what I said is just an opinion. I know, of course it is. I mean, that's what it is. It's an opinion. It's my opinion that's based on facts and logic and reasoning, standards, morals, <laughs> etc. It's a smart opinion is what I'm saying. Unlike a stupid ass one that you would get from uh, Dinobot or Arc 48 or or Spartan Locke, or any of those fucking idiots that no one should listen to, ever. My god. But yeah, I'm just, uh, whenever I say something like, Overwatch is a piece of shit, and it's a fact that that game sucks. If I say something like that, of course I'm just kidding. Not about the game sucking, of course, I, I mean that. But I'm just kidding when I say that it's a fact. Of course it's not a fact, it's just my opinion. My logical experienced opinion but yeah they, they get all pissed off at me for saying stuff like that and I usually just lead them on and I'm just like no it is a fact that it's a shitty game blah 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 and they get even madder and madder it's fucking funny <laughs> like a lot of them can't tell when you're joking it's oh well you know at the same time, I can't really blame people, you know. It's not like they can hear the tone of my voice when I type or they can't see me winking, <laughs> you know. But, like, just just clearing the air, folks, just setting the record straight. I know, it's just an opinion when I say Destiny sucks or Overwatch sucks or uh, Call of Duty sucks or Battlefront sucks or Lawbreakers sucks or... Oh, God, so many shitty games. Jesus Christ. Assfront 2, that piece of shit. Oh, God. Anyway, um, so yeah, these games are all shit. <laughs> these games are all shit, and that's a fact. Okay, I know that's just an opinion, but... Uh, hey, I like saying it that way, okay? You know, you ever feel, like, really passionate and emotional in your words that... That even though it's just your opinion, you want it to be a fact, like, really bad because of how much it sucks ass. But, yeah, um, anyway. I, I'm just kidding, all right, so don't take me super literal uh, when I say stuff like that. But, uh, for the record, uh, I do hate Destiny, and I do hate Overwatch. Well, I don't know. Okay, hate is a really strong word. I would say dislike is uh, is better. I hate certain things about them, like microtransactions. Fuck that shit. That shit's really gay. Fuck all that. But, you know, not like they're uh, Big Rigs or Superman 64. You know, like. <laughs> but then again, those games don't try to nickel and dime you with microtransactions. 
it's complicated. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, another thing I wanted to clear up was uh, GLL got kind of pissed off with me here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, he, uh, he uh, thinks that uh, in my last video I implied that the updates to Reach were a success. And uh, this, is kind of, this is my fault. This is my fault. Um, I'm going to admit that right now. This is my fault. I should have been more clear um, when I said that shit about the game getting better um, over time for competitive players. Oh, I meant it. I meant it. Looky here. Looky here. Anniversary Classic. MLG. MLG has no... Uh, uh, has melee bleed through and zero bloom, or at least uh, last time I checked, it had a uh, uh, melee bleed through. They might have changed that shit, but uh, pretty sure it does. Uh, I haven't played in a while, so I'm not 100% sure. But it's still a more skillful playlist than uh, you know than uh, fucking multi team, for example. Okay. So or arena. Arena was uh, not very uh, skillful in a lot of ways. I remember playing Arena on fucking Sword Base, where bitches would just camp with the shotgun and sword at the gold lift, you know? <laughs> like, that's not, uh, that's not a playlist you can take seriously on a competitive level, you know? That's, that's fucked up. Whichever team gets the power weapons first and gets lucky enough and they control the gold lift, they pretty much win, you know? It's like, goddamn, there's nothing you can really do about that. Uh, anyway, uh, my point is, um, they made uh, Anniversary Classic and MLG. And Anniversary Classic has no lo loadouts, no uh, no bloom whatsoever. Um, and uh, you got to be a pretty damn good shot with that Magnum. And movement speed is increased a little bit, so it feels a little more like Halo 1, where you could walk, uh, walk quite quickly, and jump height isn't that great. So yeah, you know, it's kind of close to how Halo 1 is played. It's not the same, of course. Different game engine. The Magnum in Halo Reach only holds 8 rounds instead of 12. And the Halo 1 pistol is a little more accurate and shoots a little more uh, farther. But uh, if I recall, the Halo 1 Magnum, at a certain range, it just didn't do any damage. I think in Reach... Um, not sure, so don't quote me on that, but I think in Reach, the uh, Magnum uh, can travel pretty much infinitely, uh, I think, or at least pretty fucking far. But anyway, uh, these are skillful playlists, and uh, uh, GLL, he says to me here, do you really think the updates 343 did improve the game for pros? Question mark. And yeah, I fucking do, man. Anniversary Classic, MLG. Probably the most skillful shit this game has ever seen as far as playlists go. So, yeah. Yeah, for the competitive crowd, this is a good thing for them. Now, uh, yeah, GLL is uh, accusing me of saying that the updates for Reach were a success, and uh, it's my fault for not being uh, clear. Um, th this playlist... Anniversary Classic, and this playlist, MLG, yeah, I, I, uh, those are positive things for Halo Reach, especially for the, uh, competitive crowd, you know? But this, right here, these seven, yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. These guys are not... <laughs> These aren't the kind of uh, playlists that I would consider to be skillful, really. Like, this shit is pretty lame, if you ask me. What they did with the Evolved playlist here, I'm not too keen on. I don't think they uh, did a very good job uh, updating this. and. Uh, GLL, he's got a point, you know, that this shit was really unpopular with a lot of people, and, uh, yeah, I agree with him here. It's just I don't agree over here. I think Anniversary Classic and uh, MLG are positive things for the competitive crowd uh, in Halo, in Halo Reach. Um, but this, 
This, uh, I don't really approve of the title update playlists here in the Evolved section. A lot of the changes, they're, they're like slight tweaks that are just kind of a slight changes for the sake of change instead of actually having some logic put into it. And a lot of the game and its multiplayer maps were sort of built around Vanilla Reach gameplay. And uh, this just doesn't fit that good. I can't quite put my finger on it, so don't don't expect me to explain it in great detail. Because I, I honestly don't really hang out in these playlists. I rarely fucking play these. Um, this is where I hang out. The title update hasn't touched this shit. Not really. I think they added Zero Bloom to, uh, to Team SWAT. And I think maybe you can find some title update um, uh, game modes that you can vote for or not vote for in Team Slayer. I'm not sure, though, because I haven't really played that. Like I said, guys, I pretty much just stick to Invasion, you know? So I just wanted to make that clear. I think GLL misunderstood me because I wasn't clear enough. So basically, GLL, what I'm saying is Evolved title update? This shit is not not selling me, man. It's not selling towards me. I, I think this shit is, uh, yeah, I don't want anything to do with this stuff. I don't necessarily hate the shit out of it, but, uh, I don't, I don't care, and I will probably never, ever pick one of these playlists to play for the rest of my life. I, I can't even remember the last time I played any of these. I think I might have played Big Team Battle about a year ago. Once. And then I was like, I'm going back to Invasion. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what happened. So, yeah, my point is, GLL, this right here, these seven playlists that have been manipulated by the title update, yeah, you make a good point. A lot of the stuff from in the title update for these seven playlists, it's really not that cool. Really nothing special. And, uh... But um, what I was getting at was the Anniversary Classic playlist, the MLG playlist, the SWAT playlist, and the Snipers playlist are playlists that you can go to that will feel a lot more competitive. I think in the video, though, I did include Arena. I'm taking that back right now. I forgot that Arena is a title update playlist. And you can't even find a match in Arena anyway because it's so fucking dead. Arena is probably the most dead playlist in this game. So, like, I remember... When Destiny 1 came out, around that time, I was messing around a little bit in Arena, and I remember there were only maybe 50 people on the weekend and, like, 10 or 20 people um, during the week. And that was, like, three years ago, so I imagine it's gotten worse, you know. So, fuck Arena. Who gives a shit about Arena? Welcome to the Arena. This is the arena. The arena is a measure of your efficiency, lethality, and expertise. Its rules are simple. Good luck, you'll need it. Yeah, you'll need a lot of luck finding a match. <laughs> nice. Season 34. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Don't care for that. All right, invasion, invasion imminent. Spartans versus elites. Eliminate all enemy resistance while completing objectives. And then look right here. That's a really good tip. D-pad it up. Use the D-pad to choose to spawn with your teammates or at present locations. That's some advice that a lot of Invasion players don't know about for some reason. I can't tell you how many people keep spawning up in the same spot for me to kill them. They haven't figured out that you need to push up or down on the D-pad to cycle between spawn locations. But, you know... A lot of people are noobs. Yeah, but I love the Invasion playlist. I know it's not a competitive playlist. It's a casual playlist. But it's fun. All kinds of goofy shit happens. I got like a thousand videos of crazy shit happening in this playlist. That's why I play it, because it's really fun. And I'm about to upload some funny shit in a little bit here. But, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, and uh, an update to the channel. Uh, I was talking to uh, BFN. 
Blue Flaming Ninja. He was telling me that I can approve comments that uh, that I like, and I can uh, choose to not approve comments that are fucking stupid shit from 343 Dick Riders. So, yeah, uh, I never took him very seriously on that, but, you know, earlier today at work, I was bored, and I was checking that shit out, and uh, I think I'm going to do that. Because uh, the reason I disabled comments in the first place is because uh, I don't want to get sucked into arguments with dumbass 343 dick writers. Been there, done that way too much, and it, it's an addiction. It's an addiction, man, and it's not a healthy one. Because the, the reason it's addicting is it's fun to just totally shit on them and put them in their place with your logic. But at the same time, it's bad for you. You're wasting your time. You're talking to a brick wall. These people don't understand anything really is good god so i don't want to deal with them but you know the the downside to disabling comments is uh some of the time some smart people will come in and they'll have uh nice things to say about you or logical things to contribute to the argument and a lot of them will tell you stuff that you didn't know about like with gll here telling me about the evolved playlist and a lot of the stuff that sucks shit like uh he he told me that the shotgun turned into a one-shot kill from 30 feet away at one point, and they had to fix it or, or something. I don't know. And See, I wouldn't know that because I don't fucking hang out in this shitty playlist. Um, none of this stuff here interests me. Like, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm in the mood for some big, crazy action with a lot of players, I'm going to go with Invasion. If I'm the, in the mood for some standard 4v4 action, I'm probably going to pick one of these three right here. And if I want some high-stakes competitive stuff where the players are trying really hard and there's a lot of vigor going on and a lot of team-based communication, then I'll probably play one of these. And then, of course, there's uh, playing against the AI and whatnot, and that's also kind of fun, too. But the stuff here in the Evolved playlist, none of this really interests me. I have alternatives. Like, this is bottom-of-the-barrel shit right here. So, yeah, to be clear, GLL, I... Uh, I think the updates for Reach were good for for pro-type players who want something a little more skillful, like this and this. But the updates that they did, the title updates for these seven uh, playlists right here, yeah, this is nothing special. But uh, anyway, um... Yeah, I, I think I'm going to put on approved comments so I can show off smart people and what they have to say and shut up the uh, retards who say stupid shit because nobody needs to listen to those motherfuckers. Call me a Nazi who's against freedom of speech all you want or whatever, but I have the freedom to do what I want with my channel, so, you know, you telling me how to run my channel would be kind of hypocritical, you know, I'm just saying. Like... And come on, let's get real here. These 343 three fanboys, this crazy shit that they say, you know. Like, good God. Good God. I, got, I think that Diego fag once said that it's a fact that Halo 4 has the best story and Halo 5 has the best multiplayer. Uh, if that's a fact, then just kill me now. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, um, uh, yeah, those people spread false information. They spread lies. They spread a lot of stupidity. And every now and then there's going to be some naive person or maybe some little kid who reads their comment and buys into their bullshit and becomes convinced that these uh, shitty microtransaction games are, are the way to go. And they end up wasting money and looking stupid. And then one day when they grow up and smarten up a little bit more, they realize they fucked up. Because they took the advice of somebody who was uh, crappy, someone who was full of shit, somebody who uh, supports um, microtransactions, good God. Yeah, so, yeah, those people don't deserve to be listened to. So that's what I'm going to do on my channel, or at least that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try that shit out. So anyway, I'm going to upload some goofy shit. See ya.